Hello and welcome PMO fans. I'm your host Joe Moore here and here we have week four of PML Draft Center. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the game of the week. We're not gonna have all the graphics and stuff because I'm a week behind and you know, <clears throat> all that other stuff. So hopefully this is good enough for this week, but for uh, week five, we will have all the graphics and everything. For our game of the week, we have the Day Day Knights versus the Ter Saratoga Sableyes. And Dusty was able to get the timer win versus Josh. Uh, Zard, Chansey, and Torkoal all got kills for Dusty's team. Uh, Torkoal only getting one to Rocks, but Zard getting two and Chansey getting two. Escavalier and Zard went down on Dusty's side, resulting with him only having four Pokemon left. On the other side, Saratoga Sableyes, Arcanine, and Slowking Galarian got kills but couldn't beat Dusty's bulk. Next up, we have the New Orleans Apes versus the Toronto Tyranitars. This one was a timer battle in the Apes' favor. Nidoqueen got a kill, and Hydreigon died on uh, the Ape side. On the Tyranitar side, uh, Ninetales gets a kill, but Mimikyu fell to its own life orb, and Rillaboom died to the poison point of Nidoqueen. So it looks like uh, two deaths that Morgan just could not prevent that uh, allowed Melvin to get the heads up on him and get that win. Next, we have the Blades versus the Knoxville Kecleon. In this one, Excadrill gets a kill for the Blades, and Ice Q gets a kill for the Kecleon. But it seems Matt went straight into Komo'o and set up to get five kills and sweep the Kecleon to get the win for week four. Next, we have... The Texas Golurks versus the Ch Cincinnati Chinchinos. And in this one, Kenneth got a clean 6-0 versus Chinchino. He wasn't able to just set up and sweep, but his whole team put in the effort to get group kills to get him into the position to win. So it looks like Bronzong, Swoobat, and Skunk Tank all got kills with Skunk Tank leading the way with two. Sadly, he couldn't get that six kill because Claydol exploded on itself. Next, we have the Kings, the New Zealand Kings, versus the Townsville Crocodiles. This was a big battle, and Stewart was able to come out on top with a 3-0 win versus the Crooks. Crooks got, uh, Crocodile got three kills, Lycanroc got two kills, and Magmortar got one kill. While on the other side, for the Crocodiles, Raichu, Barrasquita, and Gr Grandpa all got a kill each, but did not have enough momentum to counter to counter Stewart's team and get him to come out on top. So GG to Stewart on that one. Next, we have the Dragon Knights versus the Florida for Alligators. And this one's short and sweet. Uh, the Dragon Knights get the forfeit win because uh, the Florida for Alligators accidentally Dynamaxed their Tier 2 Milotic. And of course, you can only uh, Dynamax Tier 3 and below. Next, we have the Chartreus versus the Holy Crusaders. And this was a big battle. Battle had lots of pivoting and back and forth. Naganadel was able to get a primary sweep opportunity by getting three kills on the Chartreus team. Lycanroc tried to come in and save the day, getting three kills itself, ending the terror of Naganadel but did not have enough turns of sand and getting outsped by Halucha who takes down Lycanroc and another Pokemon before fainting and then lastly but not leastly Turtonator was able to get that final kill with Dynamax and end it on a 1-0 victory. Lastly but certainly not leastly we have the Crimson Slayer Fairies versus the Philadelphia Polyrath. This one was a straight up slaughter on the Polyrath's end. The Crimson Slayer Fairies were able to bring in Salamence, set it up, and get all six kills to end the battle. And with that, we present the most valuable Pokemon of the week, the MVP. Week 4 MVP goes to your favorite Gen 3 pseudo legendary. We have Salamence, who is out for blood and showing off his Moxie. Getting 6 0 sweep versus the Polyrath. So, as you can see, Coach CC of the Crimson Slayer Fairies was able to get that 
MVP award this week. And um, we don't have the breakdown of uh, like uh, the seasonal stats, so the ranking. But we will definitely have it for the week five video. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next time.